Hey there YouTube, Super Brain AK here. And well, got some stuff in the mail today. But first wanted to do a little quick update. I've got desoldered the stupid tiny little barrel jack that my light bar came with. So now uh, probably just saw it's got three little wires coming off three little wires coming off here it's got a little breakaway bundled up there and there we go we got positive and negative and then a pulse width um, output from the little driver chip uh, in there it doesn't work too well because I think the resistor to the transistor in there is a bit small so the outputs only like less than 3 volts which should be a full 5 so I'll see a might see about changing the little resistor in there to something a little bit bigger but then that could in turn affect the transistor not turning on making more heat so what I want to do is get a um, constant current LED driver an 8 watt LED driver so that it'll be way more efficient and no more flicker which you probably guys saw in the video it's just flickering even though it's at 100% output it's still flickering for no reason at all um, maybe if I put a capacitor it would quiet down because it doesn't have any capacitors in the little board but anyway what I got in the mail whoop, little box with a bunch of little baggies and each one of those baggies has one of these in it. I don't know if it's going to focus or not. There you go. I'll put a, a detailed picture in the uh, YouTube video description box. But what each one of these is, is, well, you can see that little circuit board there. That is a SGL8022W single channel DC LED control touch chip. Yeah, sorry for the chinglish, but basically it turns on and off an LED with pulse width based on its um, based on the touch control so it does have as you see a little header there T2 and T1 touch option and then it's got zeros and ones it's basically both sides of the thing is positive or negative <clears throat> and then the center is the um, option pin so it can regulate regulate lightness discreetly without lightness memory regulate regulate lightness continuously without lightness memory and with lightness memory basically if you when you turn it off, when you touch to turn it off, and then you turn it back on, it goes back to what you had it on with, provided the AC power stays on. Um, more, well, DC power, I guess. <laughs> and then has one where it um, regulates the brightness with three modes, low, medium, high. So this one, is basically the same option as what this 
bar does. So I believe it's the exact same driver chip. Because if I turn it off, turn it back on, it's at the bright, same brightness. And then I can touch it, turn it up, touch it, turn it down. Which, I've got one set up right here on a little LED with a 7805. You see it's a little uh, red LED is on. And touch it, turn it off. Touch it, turn it on, it's at the same brightness. Turn it up. Touch, turn it off, touch, turn it on. So that's basically the same mode as my light bar. So yeah, I thought these were pretty darn cool. I think it was about less than 20 bucks for 10 of them. And so I'm planning on using these for quite a few things with LED control and lights and um, fan control because it's just a pulse width I just have to figure out um, how I can invert it either tap off the chip directly which is probably what I'll do because high is on on the chip coming from the chip that just gets inverted on the transistor, meaning high is low. So, if, because if I put a fan on it right now, it's going to be at maximum. And then that is going to be minimum. And when you first plug them in, they're going to be off. Oops, I missed. But they're going to be off. So once you turn it on, then it's going to turn off the fan. So when you first power up the device, the fan's going to be all the way max. So I'll probably have to tap right off the chip itself in order to control fans and whatnot. So, yeah. That's not too bad. I already did, because that's what that wire is, tapped off the chip itself, but there's a 100 ohm resistor to the transistor inside, which controls, turns on and off the um, LEDs. So, it's pulled low pretty hard. <laughs> so, yeah. I guess that's it. Um, yeah, those things are pretty cool. I'll definitely link a um, high definition picture of the board and um, I guess a data sheet as well in case anybody's interested in them. So, yeah, that's it for now. Stay tuned for more, more uh, videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.